What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Tyson Fury remains adamant that Deontay Wilder would beat Anthony Joshua if the fight between the power-punching heavyweights is made. Wow. <clears throat> the WBC champion always insisted that his former foe would bludgeon his fellow Brit and is not looking to challenge his prediction anytime soon. <clears throat> and Fury had this to say. He said, soon as he hits him, one punch, knockout. See you later, bye bye. Wilder though is being eyed by Andy Ruiz who beat Luis Ortiz on Sunday night and he seems open to the idea. Deontay Wilder's back. We're always looking for great, exciting fights. If that, what lies next? I've got to handle business, but after that, we can get it on, he said. Hmm. Those are the words of Tyson Fury and Deontay, the Bronze Bomber. Wilder, let me counterpunch. Well, I think Tyson Fury is once again looking at after his investment, okay? After his uh, recently crowned jewel, all right? And his best recently crowned jewel was Deontay Wilder. And if you know anything about marketing and you know anything about legacy, okay, and um, trend setting, you would know that Tyson Fury is the only person that beat Deontay Wilder, okay? And if you know you're the only person to beat a certain fighter, you know the first thing and the last thing that you want to do is to promote that fighter because as long as that fighter is not beaten by anybody else, you're the only man on the top of the hill. You're the only person that that is a reference of being a winner uh, that could defeat that particular person, that former WBC champion, a guy that's revered as one of the highest knockouts percentages in the history of boxing and has been legend or, or rumored to have one of the hardest right hands in the business, okay, bar none. And Tyson Fury saying that, he's saying that, first of all, to put one up on his uh, future uh, potential fight with Anthony Joshua, okay? So a well, part of that is the promotional side. It is mind games because as long as Tyson Fury knows, like, listen, I think the guy that I knocked you out can knock you out. I could always bring that to the forefront since you guys never fought anyway. You can't prove it. There's no way of qualifying it. But guess what? It doesn't matter because I already beat the guy that I think can beat you. Counterpunch. Okay. And Tyson Fury, though, he's a guy that also wants to rate his chin. It's all competition against Anthony Joshua's chin. You know, rate the punching or the fighters against each other. Look at the guy that I fought. Yes, I fought Vladimir. So what? You fought Vladimir two years before or after I did, you know, and we both took him out. But then guess what? I fought Deontay Wilder, the WBC champ. OK, you fought a middleweight. Deontay Wilder hits harder. I took his best shots and I got up. I rose like lather, Lazarus. What did you do against Andy Ruiz? You took a knee and spit out your mouthpiece. Bars. So I think that's what Tyson Fury is trying to do with this particular segment. OK, in this article, I think that he's trying to uh, com uh, actually compete and rival himself and measure up his chin, his will, his heart against AJ's everything else, okay? That's what I see with Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Um, do I think that'll happen? Now, is he telling the truth? Can Wilder hit Joshua one time and knock him out? I think jo I think Wilder can hit someone with one knockout power. You better ask Spilko. You better ask Luis Ortiz on the second fight. You better ask Dominique Brazil. You better ask a lot of fighters that he did that too that he took him down to the ground with one dynamic blow. Boom, right? But the reality is, I think that's a lot of heavyweights. You know, I think we get too carried away with the whole idea, you know, and the legend of, oh man, this guy can hit. Yes, they all can hit. Now, some can hit harder than others, but just because the ones can hit hard don't make them champions, don't make them better than the next person. It just makes them dangerous, maybe more exciting because they know 
It's more of a, 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 a situation where you know at any moment that that particular punch could be landed and everyone goes ballistic. Okay, so yes, it, it is some excitement. It is some intriguement with that. But at the end of the day, you know, we've seen some of the hardest punching guys fall for the ones that didn't, i.e. Uh, Foreman, Ali, Bars, i.e. Shavers, um, Ali, <laughs> right? Wilder, Fury. Okay, so we have a lot of particular fights. David Tua, Lennox Lewis. Okay, there's a lot of fights that happen where these guys did have that one punch knockout power, but it was never delivered. It was never um, targeted in the right uh, way to be executed. Okay, so just because you do have the possibility or the potential to land that one big shot doesn't mean it's going to land. Okay. And I think, I think a lot of time, a lot of these hard punching guys do rely too much on their power. So when they do get tired and they can no longer throw that power or when that power is not helping them or getting them over the hill, they have nothing else. Okay. So I think that's important to bring up, but you guys tell me what you think of Tyson, the gypsy King Fury stating that Deontay Wilder would steal to this day. Knock out Anthony Joshua with one punch. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.